I think, again, it goes back to those examples of having that data and being able to reuse it in a way that is verifiable. And I think it's like, the easiest maybe way is data that is verifiable so you can check um, that it's accurate, that it's correct, but also that it has like provenance, you know where it came from and lineage, so you know the steps it's kind of gone through. Um, and so the obvious easy example that everyone leans on is, is KYC because it's easily understandable. You, let's say you've got a reusable, like a reusable record that you can show that you have been through that process. It is reusable. Um, and you can take it to different mm. places. The data itself is verifiable. You know, you can prove using credentials where it came from. You can prove kind of how it came into being. So the process that you went through to get that, and then anyone else can in the future when you show it again. And so it's not just KYC data, you can do that with anything. It could be a receipt, a gym membership, it could be business licensing, a company signature, or it could be your identity in like the metaverse where you're proving that you are who you say you are, even if you're operating to an avatar. And so bring all this stuff together. You've got data that is like reusable with provenance, with veracity. Um, and it, I guess that's where the, tr like that's kind of trusted data is just an entity. Where the market side of that comes in is that all of that data has value. So, um, like whenever that moves around, there should be a corresponding value flow that almost goes in the opposite direction, typically because to generate trusted data or have trust in that data, you've gone through some process, you've invested money into the, the time, people and process that goes into that data. Mm -hmm. And therefore it kind of has inherent value as it starts moving around and can get used in the future. Um, like it's an easy example is like me stating something doesn't necessarily mean that it's true, but if I have all the kind of like effort, time and process to prove that and stand behind it, suddenly there's way more valuable to that statement than me just making it. Right. Um, so yeah, I'd say that's where the market side of things comes in is like there's inherent value in that data. And then the real market side is that you've got people providing that data, people buying that data, and ultimately that forms the market.